Thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm going to do an art journal page, so I thought you'd like to art journal with me. So the last time I did one, I did this page with uh, faces that I drew in magazine images and a really fun background. I'm going to do the same kind of concept on this page, but this time I'm going to use the collection from Justine Paper Doll Adventures, which is called Face Ups. So these cute face ups are what I'm going to use on my art journal page. I'm going to make a creative, fun background, and this is the images that I've chosen. I looked for magazine images of bodies, and I had this old vintage. Um, this came from, I'm not sure what magazine. It's got a Christian Dior ad on the back, so it must be some kind of a fashion magazine. But it had these vintage ladies in it, and I love these vintage ladies. So. I'm cutting each one out and I'm going to add these to the page and then I'm going to use my face up girls to add these faces. So here's this image with a tipped head and here's a side view tipped head. So I'm going to put my own image with the face up girl on these bodies. Look how cute that's going to be. So let's get started and have some fun and see what kind of an art journal page I can create today using magazine bodies and the Justine face up girl faces. So the first thing I did was to cut these images out and lay them out on the page where I'm going to want them in my art journal and I decided I want a text box right here so I'm going to just pencil in a funky shaped text box like that and then I'm going to paint the background except for that text box. So to paint my background I'm just going to use some really light colored blue and a baby wipe to start with and just spread out that paint. It makes it really easy and quick. I want a quick blue background and then I have some ideas for making those girls kind of pop. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this out and then Next I'm going to take a unit Posca pen and this is the um, blue and it is um, a chisel tip. So it's got this nice big chisel tip and I'm going to go around the border and I've got a clean baby wipe in hand and what I'm going to do is to border this and since Posca is just acrylic paint just like anything else I'm going to take this baby wipe and I'm going to blend out this side of the line so it's not a harsh line it's a blended line like that and I'm going to do that all the way around the page. So look how pretty that border is. If you get a chance to try that technique it is so easy and quick but this blue border is just popping blue. I love it and then it feathers out where you use the baby wipes. So that's super fun and I think I'm going to do my journal box the same way. So that was quick and easy too. Just went around the journal box and then took my baby wipe and just went around that outside edge just to blend it out and make it not a straight edge. So I'll show you real close what that looks like. So that's super fun. Now I'm going to make a place for each one of my girls. So I think I'm going to put them in place. I know where I want each one to go and I'm going to just do a quick, quick pencil line around them to see where they are because I'm going to do some color behind them to make each one stand out. But first I want to trace around them in pencil lightly so that I know where the girls so go. I can see an outline of where the girls are going to go. I'm going to take three colors of paint, a green, purple, and a pink, and put a little pop of color behind each one. So I'm just going to use a damp sponge and a little bit of paint and just sponge it on and sponge it up to where that girl's going to go. So this is really going to just make her stand out a little bit more on the page and I'm going to do that around each one and see where this page takes me. I like where this is going and each girl is going to have a little section that's going to pop behind her. So I think what I'm going to do next is take a darker green, a darker purple, and a really fuchsia type of pink and I'm going to water them down with a brush and I'm going to splatter darker color of the same color over each section. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Well this turned out really interesting. I love it. So I've got some dark green over the green, dark purple, and some darker pink. And then let me show you what the girls will look like. 
put them back in their little places and look how they kind of just pop with those interesting color patches behind them I like that very cool looking now I'm going to put my images down with matte gel medium and I won't do this on camera I've shown it a million times so I'm just going to go ahead and do it I put the matte gel medium on the back of the magazine image on the page itself and then lay them down and go over the top that way you don't get any wrinkles So now as you can see her head fits on the neck perfectly and I can just glue her into place. So I'm going to glue that down with some art glitter glue. So I've added the three heads to the bodies and I think I love the black and white bodies and the colored faces. It's kind of striking and different. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to color those bodies. I thought I was going to color these but I think the the fact that they're black and white is what makes it kind of unique but what I am going to do I think is take a black outliner a black fine liner pen and outline all the girls so I'm going to go ahead and do that next I'm going to take some jet black paint and I'm going to fill in this text box section with black I think the black will tie in with the black and white outfits so while that paint is drying I'm just taking a charcoal pencil and a little brush that I've cut up cut off the tip to to make a little mini scrubber and I'm just going in here and making some shadows underneath the feet so just coloring on some charcoal and then taking my little scrubber and blending it out so it just adds some cute cast shadow underneath all the feet Next I'm going to just take some markers. These are just Tombow dual brush pens and I'm going to do some doodling with the end that is a point tip instead of the brush tip. I'm just going to come in here and add some doodles to each one of those sections. And I just chose kind of a subdued color that matches. And I'm going to just add some doodling to that background so green doodling purple and pink I like my doodling around each image it just brings character to the page and now what I'm gonna do is I'm using this rubber stamp it's a little uh, text box stamp you know like a thought thought box and it's from Stampin' Up! 1996 I don't think it's ever even been used I think it was gifted to me and I'm gonna stamp it with archival ink on some white cardstock and I'm using a little round jelly plate and I'm gonna stamp on this and flip it over to get a reverse image so I can use these text boxes and have them going in different directions. So that's just kind of a nifty way to uh, reverse a rubber stamp. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these out with some scissors. I cut out the little thought boxes and thought bubbles and glued them into place. And in my big text box I'm going to use ransom style letters. So I have envelopes like this. I've shown this in a previous video on creative lettering that I've cut out letters from magazines and then I'm just going to write out the words and they're going to be ransom style by choosing letters from the cut out letters that I have. So here's what I came up with for letters and I'm going to go ahead and use matte gel medium and put them into place. So the saying down the text box is deep thoughts. Next I'm going to take a fine point Posca pen and go around my letters I like to do a sketchy kind of a crisscrossy border around letters when I do ransom lettering 
I just think it looks kind of nifty and makes it look even more random. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that around my letters. Next I'm going to take a Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayon. This is in their flesh color. And I'm just going to pick up some with a water brush. And the only thing I'm going to do is come in here and just put a little tiny bit of flesh tone just coming down from the neck. I like the black and white and I don't really want to change it, but just to tie the face in with the neck. So I'm going to just add a little crazy little touch of that flesh color just on each one, just on the neck. And I like it better. It was so gray. The black and white photos make the necks just look so gray that, yep, totally like that. See how that kind of just tied it in a little bit better. So this is my page. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun. I hope it gave you some ideas. And um, I do love these face-ups from the Justine's collection on the bodies. I think they're just adorable. I might add some more doodads and things to them. I did add a little uh, silk bow on her um, ponytail and on this one I used some pearl X pen or pearline pen to add pearl earrings and holding those pearls and the pearls around her neck so you can see the pearls. And then on the sayings I did, um, I love these pearls, I think I'll wear them to bed and her thoughts is I think I need to adopt another dog. And this one's thought is, I wonder if I can change my middle name to Glam. That was Glam Girl in the set. So there's my page, and I hope you had fun and it gave you some ideas. I love art journaling with you guys. And there is a Facebook group for uh, mixed media and art journaling called Twisted Art Designs. And then there's also one for all things paper dolls. So feel free to find that link in the description box below and join the Facebook group if you want to show your stuff. So thanks for stopping by. Go make some art in your art journal. Art soothes the heart. And there's a link in the description box for the Justine set if you want the 16 faces and 16 hairstyles to play around with in your art journal.